Alrighty, disassembling the PMNO2. First, we're going to loosen up the cap or two on the shroud. I'm going to take the shroud off. Then we're going to take the bottom plate off. bottom plate o-ring out. You normally use a pick or a blade or needle nut cutter pliers or then you take out the seal retainer. And you're taking out the strain from the powder housing, the o-ring and the calibration plate. And now it's fully separated. And you got the housing empty. Okay. So we're going to start putting back the chamber. All right. So we're going to grab the, we got the, we got the impeller housing. And you're going to put the propeller in, the impeller. And then you're going to put the calibration plate. Make sure the notch on the impeller housing goes onto the notch on the Calibration plate. And you're going to put the screen, the strainer on, and that also has a notch here and then a notch shot right there. Both go in there. And then you're going to put the impeller O ring, make sure that's on before you put it into the housing. And now uh, we got the meter housing. And on the meter housing, we got a little divot here, it goes inside this hole right here. And you have to lock. There we go. And once it's set in there, it won't move. Then you're going to put the seal retainer on. And then you're going to put the bottom plate O ring on. Together pretty good. Ready for the bottom plate. The bottom plate on. Then you're gonna put the screws on. Just make sure you match the hole with the bypass right here, so you can have your um, your tamper wire connected. You hand tighten them, and then you can. Just get a hand tightened with a wrench, half inch socket, or just a wrench is fine. And then you're going to put the housing back on. Line it up. Tip of the lid goes facing the arrow, which is the, where the meter number is engraved. And then you can tighten up the camper screw. Here, give me a tooth. 